the 1971 New England Patriots and their terrible, horrible, no good, very bad drive. Now, here's the thing for trivia experts out there. What is the worst down and distance we've ever seen in this game? What is the strangest? 2013, the Terrell Pryor Raiders faced a fourth and 48. Not kidding. Michigan State once punted on fourth and goal because Kirk Cousins lost over 30 yards on a bad snap from the 10 yard line. But today we're gonna go, as I said, to 1971, the one that beats them all. We're in the brand new Texas stadium. They've just opened the place. The Patriots are visiting the Cowboys and President Lyndon Baines Johnson is in the building for this disaster, the worst drive of all time. You're looking at Jim Plunkett. He was the number one pick in the draft. This is his rookie year. He's there on that Astro turf and he's gonna get sacked. Bad sack for that Cowboys defense. I'm not sure why Plunkett is clapping, but on the very next play, there'd be no applause because he was sacked again. Bob Lilly was everywhere. The Cowboys were a menace. Sure enough, Plunkett dropping back. I'm not sure why he isn't throwing it away at this point. It is legal back then, Jim, but he's gonna take another sack and you're gonna see another clap, which I think maybe in the early 70s got you a timeout. I'm not sure. So what were the Patriots facing at that point? After another penalty following the sacks, they had a third and 56. What do you dial up on third and 56? You give the ball to their running back, Bob Harpo Glado. You think Harpo pat his stats, get eight or nine yards? No, 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 no. Harpo lost seven yards on the play, which gave us an NFL record. I'm not sure this has been reached in any sport. The New England Patriots were facing fourth and 63. That is the mark that has never been beaten. And I would sit here and love to sit here and tell you guys that this has a Disney ending. And they went for it and they got it, but they didn't. They punted and the punt, which only traveled 39 yards, was still 22 yards short of the original line of scrimmage. So we've seen some really bad drives. If you're a team that's a fan whose team has struggled, you've probably seen them backed up big time. Nobody in the history of our sport, even back 100 years ago, has ever had a fourth and 63, the worst drive of all time. Patriots have had some things go their ways the last 20 years. If you're looking for some shout in front of for New England, fourth and 63 is as beautiful as it gets. It really happened. Another team, if you can get to fourth and 64, we will do a segment on you as well. But I look to Mike Robinson. If you're in the huddle and you're looking at even third and 63, what is the play call coming in for the mm. sideline on that? And what's the chatter in the huddle? Fourth and 63, Mike. Brother, um, maybe we can do a PKR. We used to play in the street, punt, kick, pass, you know, so I could just kick it and wherever I, yeah. wherever it lands, that's where the other team gets the football. Oh, Kyle, where do you get this stuff from, man? Like, you hand the ball off to a guy named Harpo and he loses seven yards? What? Yep. This is awesome, man. I you love got a it. number one it. overall pick who takes three straight sacks in his rookie year. A, a guy, by the way, Jim Plunkett, who went on to win a couple of Super Bowls. And if you look over the story of his career, you don't talk about fourth and 63. And you know what, Mike, you don't talk about Harpo Glado, but you should, because of all the drives we've seen, there's none that have gone more disastrously than this. They lost 44 to 21 in that game. Plunkett did not come out. They kept him in the entire game. He went the Thank whole you. distance. He played. I was happy for them. I think that they bounced back nobly. They finished the season six and eight. Their coach, John Mazur, First time I've ever said his name on the show. First time I'd ever heard of him. Thank you for the internet and thank you for that search function. I got my Kyle, stuff. it's sort of weird in my Rolodex to think of anything on the field of the Patriots associated with something associated with something so negative. For them to be in this column, it's sort of weird to remember. Yeah, they weren't always so great, and we'll see what they look like in 2020. It's true. Even look at the bottom of the screen right now, guys. It says fourth and 63. That's just some sort of eye poison for me. I've never seen that collection of numbers before. I only wish it happened now with the modern system so that we could have the wide shot of the field and see the yellow line about three country miles down the field and have Collinsworth just laughing about it because it is such a bizarre and oddity. We've seen some bad quarterbacks and bad offenses. I, I mean, I can think of some of the worst offenses I've ever seen. They never even smelled a fourth and 30, let alone 63. So anybody else yeah. is on the clock. I don't know who's going to be in the cellar this year offensively, but if you get there even close, we'll break format and talk about it. Fourth and 63, chapter Kyle. four of football four. Kyle. Yes, Peter. Kyle, fourth and 63. What does Lane Kiffin do in that situation? 
Well, you don't really have any other option. You just trot out Seabass, and you attempt the 79-yard field goal, and you hope you can even get it inside the 20, Peter. You know what? It's There's all kinds of ways to go with it. If I were to get really heavy, I'd say some of us were facing fourth and 63 in this country right now. The odds are insurmountable, but we keep positive, and so do those New England Patriots. As we know, went on to turn things around in a really beautiful way. How come that kid who goes to all the parades, holds up the sign about how old he was, doesn't have a fourth and 63 sign? Somebody find that kid and yeah. give it to him.